She's just a girl and she's on fire. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with my mom. We're at a Bucky's right now. Burrito and this coffee. So we're at the Wolf Sanctuary right now. It is right there where we're gonna walk. And uh, my sister's also here. She's in the car. And then there's other people also here. But yeah, let's get going. Do you know the thing is to defend those are wild animals that make special sounds like The door. They notice every time the door. So the tour is going to be broken down into two different parts. So the first part, I'm going to be sitting down right here because I'm a tired person. And I'm going to tell you about the sanctuary, how we got started, our backstory, and why we need to be here. After that, I'm going to head inside the perimeter fence and you're going to meet me over there at the second enclosure that has Romulus and Calypso inside of it on the outside of the perimeter. And then I'll start the second half of the tour, which will be I'll introduce you to the animals, I'll let you look at them, see how they behave, tell you a few fun facts about wolves in general. And along the way, at each one of the enclosures, at the end, I'll stop and ask if anyone has any questions. Just raise your hand, shout it out, whatever you want to do, and I'll do my best to answer the question. Sound good? A human-guided evolution, and so it kind of takes its unique path. However, the genetics are so closely mingled anyways that they can still cross together. Whenever that happens, you get a wolf dog. Although this is possible out in nature, it's not very common at all. Most all wolf dogs come from a human intentionally breeding them to sell them as money, or they have two other wolf dogs that bred just because they were together under human care. Well, often this is a horrible thing to happen, as wolf dogs can't survive in the home very well. Romulus likes to act like he's a big tough guy, but they're actually couples. They love each other very much, and Romulus gives Calypso all the attention she could possibly need, which is actually a whole lot more important than it is with any of our other couples. So, a lot of the animals here, as they... And that's because she has the really dense muscle that she got from that wolf part of her. So she has a wolf dog. However, just adding that little bit of wolf into her restructured a lot of her muscles. Um, oh boy, look at that. You remember how I said these animals are really hard to train? We're very patient. Sit. Oh Down. my goodness. Hey, can you tell him to roll? Can you tell him to roll? That's funny. Can no, we did not teach him to roll, so we inside the enclosure, I can tell him to sit or lay down and he'll stop. Yeah. Up is so that we can look at his underbelly for any type of scratches, bleeding, we can do body yeah. score to figure out if he's underweight or overweight. We can check his paws. So what this is going to do is, she's going to have the fear from her natural instinct, and she's also going to have the curiosity from the dog side of it. Anyone want to guess what I just put in there? More. Another wolf's fur? Nope. Good guess, though. It is from another animal. Predator urine? Nope, another? not predator urine. I put 
snake skin in there. Oh. Shed snake skin. <laughs> <laughs> so a wolf would just run away from that. Okay. It's, it's a snake. I don't want anything to do with the kind of thing. A dog would probably try to chew on it, and mm -hmm. so she's getting that back and forth. And so this is the perfect example of that curiosity mixed with fear. Oh, wow. And she ate it. <laughs> <laughs> now, would she ever get it? So now we are leaving. Um, it was really fun. We got to see, you know, all the wolves and all that. Um, my favorite one was, of course, Kaya, because my name is Kaya, and um, I don't know, we really just clicked together, but now we are leaving, so I hope you enjoyed my little wolf sanctuary video, and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, um, comment down below, and bye.